What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High, Priest High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the button, uh, sub button to be notified of future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps to the side of everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Um, okay, so the channel I received was um a counselor um a counselor has um picked up on the fact that a male child has recently been abused um i heard by the current um current custodial parent um they're having severe anxiety because there is a custody battle right now but they know it's very very smart to release this information because if they don't they're going to be in a legal battle down the line so um you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you i have been getting them in all night tonight we had pedophile energy in here earlier we had um safe space energy for spiritual uh spiritualist on the light side and now we've got this um it's crazy um but that's you know life of a spiritual worker just saying just saying Okay, so um, if this resonates for you, I heard a counselor. So you could be the counselor or, or you could be somebody that's, because I heard the counselor is about to communicate because they know it's smart to communicate it. Because if they don't, they're going to be in legal issues down the line. I'm assuming the other parent or with a guardian or with somebody else um, because they know this child has been abused. I heard it's a masculine child. So um, yeah, well, yeah, it's smart to report it. It's always smart to report abuse. Anytime you try to hide anything, anything, period. What comes to the dark always comes to the light, period, period. Um, so uh, if you're the counselor, of course, it's smart to reveal this information. Of course. Um, hope to God you didn't know it, you know, like crazy amounts of time before. I don't know. Everybody, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But the important part is to get the abused. If anybody needs to hear this, the important part is to get the abused child away from the abuser. I heard in this case, it is a parent, the current custodial parent. But if this specific specific message does not resonate with you and it resonates another another way, the important part is to get the abused child or children away from the abuser or abusers license i don't care if you're a licensed counselor i don't care if you're a reporter that's a report about to report in on somebody being abused i don't care if you're a citizen that's about to call cps or the police i don't care if you're a licensed counselor i don't care if you're a nurse i don't care who you are anybody the important part is to get the abused person or people in this case it is a child away from the abuser if anybody needs to hear that i mean you would think the counselor knows that um uh, but uh, you know everybody needs reminding every now and then i guess so um this is so sad um i heard it they have been they know they've been abused by their current custodial parent so and there's some kind of custody battle energy going on in this situation right now currently in the energetic space so the current custodial parent that has the child, uh, in this case, it sounds like one child. In some cases, it might be two plus children. They have the child right now in current custodial care. Um, but they're being abused by this current custodial um, parent. And they're fighting for custody of this child because I heard the current custodial parent. So it's the, it's the parent fighting for custody of the child and they are abusing them. But the counselor knows this. I heard um, they're about to reveal it soon because they know it would be smart because they will be in a lawsuit down the line if they don't. And absolutely, freaking lutely yes. Um, if you're the counselor, um, absolutely, freaking lutely I mean, you shouldn't reveal the information because you think you're going to be in a lawsuit down the line. You should re reveal the information because you know it's the right thing to do. Um, if you need to hear this, counselor, because I'm pulling you in very, very, very strong. Whoever you are, counselor, out in the universe. And I'm serious about that. That's sad. Reveal the information. Imagine if you were the abused child. Imagine if the roles were reversed, counselor, and you were the abused child. If anybody needs to hear this, and I'm serious about that. Patience. 
Number 16 could be very significant number in somebody's life. Number 16, it could be a current, um, no, a child, it could be the child's age or somebody you're connected to's child's age that you care about. Um, I mean, I'm sure, counselor, you care about children out there. I'm sure you do. You should care about the child that come in that you know is abused. And I'm serious about that. All children matter. All children matter. If anybody needs, apparently one counselor in the universe, I feel, needs this pep talk. Patience. Be patient. It's about to all come out soon and quickly. The shit's about to hit the fan. Okay, I heard be patient. It's all about to come out soon and quickly. The shit's about to hit the fan. And in one particular situation... There has been abuse of another child, but it has been kept hidden, and that's going to come out, too. Okay, and I heard in one particular situation, there's been abuse of another child in, I guess, this, in a situation. It sounds like there's two plus situations out there in the universe, and that's about to come out, too. So, there's abuse of one particular male child going on in the energetic space right now. The counselor knows this. They're about to reveal it. Um, it, I heard it during a custody battle, so they're probably going to reveal it to a guardian ad litem is my presumptive guess on this. They're probably going to reveal it to a guardian ad litem because if they're in a custody battle, they have a guardian ad litem. So that's my presumptive guess on this is they're going to reveal it to the guardian ad litem or to a judge or to some, or to child protective services um, caseworker. I'm sure a caseworker is involved, a social caseworker involved with um, custody battle energy. Um, so it could be it could be a um, caseworker. It could be with child protective services. It could be the guardian ad litem. It could be a judge. It could be all these people. Um, but I heard be patient because the shit's about to hit the fan. So it's about to come out. So if you are the other parent and you're worried and you are suspecting that something might be going on, but your child's not telling you, and usually abused children don't. They don't usually come out and say it. And that's the truth because they're ashamed. They're children. They still have children. Their brains are still developing. They are ashamed because the, the parents are supposed to protect them. They're supposed to protect and love them. They're not supposed to stick their grody hands on their private areas. They're not supposed to stick penile parts or vaginal parts on their private areas. And that's the truth. I heard this person's been abused. This child's been abused. So either molested or physical insertion. But the child's probably not, they, they're probably not saying anything. Because they're probably ashamed. Or maybe they did say something. I'm not sure. Every situation is different. But most children won't because they are, they're supposed to be protected and loved, not abused. And when you get abused, you shut down. You get a sh you shut down usually. Um, usually. Now, for children. Now, adults are different. Strong adults, if they're abused, they, they step out and they say something. But for children, their brains are still developing. They're, or they know they're a child. They know they have parent or parents. They know the hierarchy of things. With adults, it's different. If adults are abused, they'll freaking step out and say something. Children are different. This is sad. I heard be patient. It's all about to come out very soon and quickly. Um, so I think you, counselor, you're about to um, step out to say something. I heard you know it's a smart thing to do. And absolutely, freaking lutely I mean, you're not a dumb person by any stretch. You're not. But in all fairness, you need to, um, you should do it because it's the right thing to do. Not because you're afraid you're going to be in a lawsuit down the line. And I, I, I'm just being real with you. Patience again. Spirit messages you have to focus. Woman holding a coin reverse. Huge negative karma here. Huge. And it's going to continue to happen until this is balanced out. There was huge theft here. This counselor knows it and many people know it. Oh my God, this is strong. Okay, I heard there was huge theft here. Huge. So I'm assuming of a feminine energy. It could have been, it could be the other parent that was stole from or some fem energy in this counselor's life or somebody they're connected to's life. How would that resonate? Um, but I heard there was huge theft here. I think of a fem energy. Um, I don't think it's the current abuser parent. I think it might be the other parent or some other fem energy that was stole from. 
But I heard basically um, there's huge negative karma here, meaning the abuse of the child. And in some situations, another child, and that's about to come out too. Um, and I heard it's going to continue to happen. The negative karma is going to continue to happen until the money situation gets resolved, i.e. the femme energy gets her money back. Um, however that resonates. Wow. Spirit messages you have reflected. Look, they're all over the place. I think somebody's stressed out. They're worried. They know this information. They know they're asking to go to prison. But the counselor knows it. The counselor knows it. The counselor needs to say something because that's their job. That's their job. Um, but I think other people know this. Other people know this. They're stressed out. This could be you maybe knowing this and you're stressed out because you know the information and you know somebody you're connected to is going to get sent to prison if the information comes out. It's about to come out and it's about to come out hugely. Okay, I heard it's about to come out. It's about to come out hugely. Yeah, I mean, this is sad. I heard negative karma is going to continue to happen. And it's, it sounds like it all started over theft of them energy. But now children are being abused. And people's jobs are being put on the line. This is sad. This is sad. People need to do the right thing. If they had done the right thing in the first place, none of this crap would have ever happened. Number 28 could be a very significant number in somebody's life. Number 28, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible date of birth number, possible social security card number, possible lottery number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, number 28, victory. There's going to be success in this situation. Da dangerous pedophilia energy in many situations connected to this. It needs to be cleaned up. Okay. I heard um, there's going to be victory in this. Um, but it sounds like through many series of chain events. Um, dangerous pedophilia energy in this situation, in many situations connected to this abuser, parent, current custodial parent, um, but it needs to be cleaned up. So they have connections. This custodial abuser parent that's abusing this masculine child, and in some situations, another child or children um, in the family unit, but they currently have custody and they're fighting hard for custody, but they're an abuser and a pedophile um, I heard they're connected to other pedophiles, other pedophiles to the situation. I think that stole, stole from a fem energy. Maybe they all took a cut. Maybe it's secret seven. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear that part, but possibly. But I heard there's going to be victory in this situation um, because um, it need, the pedophile situation needs to be cleaned up. And yes, it does need to be cleaned up. There does. I mean, there does. It does. It does. Um, if it had been cleaned up at the beginning, I mean, imagine this child. Imagine your shoes and this, you in this child's shoes. They're going to have to live with abuse the rest of their life now. Because somebody allowed this. And somebody financially abused a adult femme energy. And now children are being abused. And it's not just this one particular masculine energy uh, in the, with the counselor being abused. It's, I heard several children connected to this adult abuser that currently has custodial um, rights over this child. He's connected to many or he or she, whoever it is. I didn't, I didn't hear masculine. Well, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Masculine. I heard masculine. He's connected to many people that are pedophilia type people. So he's connected to pedophiles. He's connected to pedophiles outside the situation. And they're apparently abusing children too. That's it. That's it. Many shocking series of shame events are going to occur in this situation soon. Many, 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 many. A huge information flow is going to occur soon. And quickly. Okay, I heard uh, basically a ton, many series of shocking series of shame events are going to occur in this situation um, quickly. Um, quickly. So I think with this part, I mean, this is an abuser. I don't know how else to say it. It's a pedophile and an abuser. I heard abusing their own child. It's a masculine energy abusing their own child. Um, and they have, not only are they abusing their own child, in some situations, it's two plus situation in the universe. They're not only abuse their masculine child, but another child or children in the family mix. And they possibly have custody of that child too. And they have connections with other pedophiles outside 
masculine or femme pedophiles outside this situation. So they like to connect with pedophiles. Well, they probably do for reasons. I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, that's sick. If I ever found out any of my friends, if I truly call them friends, which I don't have any friends in the universe, um, because I like loyal, dependable, reliable people in my life, and people aren't that way in 2022. So I have no friends. Um, I have work associates, and that is it when I work. Um, but if I had friends, if I found out they were a pedophile or a history of pedophilia, because I have children, I would never allow them around me. That we, we would not be friends, and I'd be very clear and tell them that. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. This is sick. Sick in the head. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, you guys, we're done. We're done. This is sick. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.